In this problem, we're told to find an equation of the tangent to the curve at the point corresponding to the given value of the parameter. So in this problem, we're given two different or parametric equations. We're given some parametric equations, and we're given this t value. And what we're trying to find is uh, the equation of the line tangent to the curve at this point. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and find the slope of this line. And the way we're going to do that is by using this formula. dy dx, which is going to be the equation we can use in order to find that point, uh, is going to be equal to uh, dy over dt over dx over dt, right? So what you should notice, if, if we take the derivative of our uh, one of our parametric equations and then take the derivative of the other one, divide them, that's going to give us dy dx, which is the equation we can use to find the slope. So we want to start by finding dx dt and dy dt. Let's go ahead and do that. So dx dt is going to be the derivative of the square root of t. So it's just t to the 1 half, right? And then we move the 1 half down and subtract 1. So it's 1 half t to the minus 1 half. So that's a dx dt. Now we move on to dy dt. So dy dt, it's uh, t squared. So that's just going to become 2t. And then minus 2t is just going to be minus 2. So 2t minus 2. Hopefully you're familiar with taking derivatives. Uh, you should be. So uh, yeah, so now we can just plug it in. So dy dx equals uh, dy dt, which is 2t minus 2 over uh, dx dt, which is 1 half t to the minus 1 half. And so what I'm going to do is rewrite this as, so t to the minus 1 half is the same thing as, this This can just be rewritten as uh, 1 half times the square root of t, so 1 over the 2 times the square root of t. So all I did was just rewrite it, so I just rewrote this. But yeah, so this is dy dx. Now what we want to do is go ahead and evaluate this at our point. So t equals 4. When we plug this in, what it's going to allow us to do is, or when we plug it in, we're going to get the slope. And this is going to be the slope of our line. So we're going to be solving for the slope. So let's plug it in. So 2 times 4 minus 2 over 1 half times the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is just 2 times 2 is 2. So it's 1 over 4 on the bottom. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 is 6. So really, this is just 6 times 4. And we know 6 times 4 is just 24. So it's going to be equal to 24, which just means m or the slope equals 24. So now we got the slope of our line. So what do we do next? So you should remember this formula y or sorry, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And this is the formula you used in order to find the equation if you're given the slope and a point or two points or just one point, right? An x and a y. And so we have m, but we need a y1 and x1. So how do we find those? So uh, x1 and y1, essentially, they're just going to be uh, the values when we plug in t, right? Because it's at this point. So we can find the values or the x and y value at this point t. So that's what we're going to do. Let's plug in 4 for the x value. So it equals the square root of t. t is going to be 4. So the square root of 4, which is just 2. So x1 is 2. y1 is going to be, it's t squared minus 2t, plugging in 4. 4 squared minus 2 times 4. So 4 squared is 16, minus 2 times 4 is 8. So really, it's just 8. So it's going to be equal to 8. So now we've got both our points. we got x1 and y1. So now what we can do is just plug it in. So y minus y1, which is 8, we said, equals m, our slope, which is 24, multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is 2. Multiply this out. So y minus, let me actually write it right here. So y minus 8 is equal to 24x. 24 times minus 2 is minus 48. And then we can add 8 to both sides. So x or y is going to be equal to 24x. Uh, minus 40. So 24x minus 40, this right here is going to be your equation. So this is our equation of the line tangent to the curve at this point t. But yeah, so 24x minus 40. And yeah, so that's your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.